Hi guys, this is Kelly and I know it's a little different view of my bookshelf behind me and that's because it's just been a, a day and I decided to sit for this video. So this is going to be my Booktube-a-thon TBR. I basically just got home from vacation. The kids are not adjusting well to being home after a week away. So it's just been a bit of a crazy day and when I saw everybody putting up their um, TBRs I was like oh I should get to that so now the kids are finally taking a nap and resting and so I can go ahead and film this really quick so I really I've never done book two with Odd before because I didn't actually even start watching booktube until um, August of last year so it probably was right after it was over and so I didn't really know it existed so when things started coming up I was like oh this sounds like fun and I thought it seems like the community does it, so I wanted to participate. And I know it's my first time, but I really would like to complete all the challenges. And so what I did to not stress myself out is picked pretty short books. I And I try to stick to just books in my physical TBR, um, all except for one, and you'll see that. And I did that because I'm really trying, I just made a purchase on Book Outlet and Thrift Books. And so I need to like reduce my TBR. <laughs> on my shelves to make space. So most of these books I own so that I can get them off of the area where I put my books I just purchased. And so um, let's get down to the TBR. And the first challenge, oh and by the way, in case you don't know Booktube-a-thon, it's hosted by Ariel Bissett and I'll link down the announcement video down below and it's kind of a whole wide booktube community thing. So even if you aren't a booktuber, um, go ahead and join in and read as much as you can that week. It's just about reading a lot of books. And the first challenge is to let a coin toss decide your first read. And so I am choosing between two books that um, earlier in the summer I decided to reread some of my old favorites from more than 10 years ago. And I have two that are fairly short, and so I'm going to toss the coin to choose which of these old favorites I'm going to read, reread and see if I still like them. And one is A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. Um, I just remember it being a big tearjerker kind of romance like all of his books. And then the other one is The Death and Life of Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. And this is the book that um, the movie Charlie St. Cloud with Zac Efron is based off of and I, w I read this way before the movie came out and loved it so now that I've seen the movie more recent I would like to reread this and see if I still like it. So those are the two I'm choosing between. I've got my quarter so let's see if I can... Whoop! Oh I should pick which one's heads or tails before I do that. Okay so um, we'll go with Charlie Scent Cloud is heads and Walk to Remember is tails. Alright let's do this again. And it is Tails. I thought that was this one, right? So <laughs> I think that was Walk to Remember. Man, I am having a day. So I'm going to read A Walk to Remember as my first book. Um, it's only like about 240 pages, I think. Yeah, so that should be, and I've read it before, so it should go very fast. And of course, my list is on the iPad and it closed. Okay. So challenge number two is read a book with something you want to do. And so I had a hard time finding that because there's plenty of books about things I want to do. But since I was going for my physical TBR and trying to stick to shorter books, I had a little trouble figuring this one out. But I decided to choose The Forbidden Library by Django Wexler. And even though it is a bigger book, it's middle grade, so the words are pretty big. So I think it'll it'll go by pretty quickly since it's kind of a middle grade adventure. And this is about a girl named Alice who, when her father dies, she has to move in with an uncle she's never met and he has this massive library that she's not allowed to go into. But then she meets a talking cat who wants her to go into the library. And that just sounds really interesting to me about Forbidden Library, Talking Cat seems like a story I kind of want to like be in. I mean obviously it could be really creepy by some of the pictures so maybe I'll find out I don't want to do this but so far it's not like something I would want to do. Forbidden library to explore, talking cat to befriend. Exciting. So that's number two. So number three is 
read a book and watch a book to movie adaptation. So I chose, I looked, I don't have access to a lot of movies because we don't have like on demand or anything and I don't have time to go to the movie theater. So um, I decided to look on Redbox and see out of the books I owned, if there are any books I own that have book movies available on Redbox. And if you don't live in the United States, Redbox is kind of like this, um, like vending machine for movies that they have at like grocery stores and stuff like that. And um, I have one in walking distance to my house. And they happen to have this book that I own. There's a movie that just came out last year and it's at Redbox. So, hey, and it's short. So this is called Max and this is middle grade and it also has like this fairly big writing. So I think this could be easily read in a day. And then I can rent the movie for a dollar. Yay! And this is about a boy whose older brother was a soldier in Afghanistan and he passed away and he was the handler for this um, military dog and so when the, the handler died the dog couldn't serve anymore he was like I guess the kind of the dog has PTSD so um po post PTSD man <sighs> sorry I'm not gonna edit this this is just gonna be a bit of a blah but so the dog <laughs> has some troubles and so they send the dog home to live with the handler's family so he goes to live with this boy um, and then the boy and the dog start a friendship or whatever so I'm gonna read this book and watch the movie and I'm just gonna really hope that the dog doesn't die because it seems like you know when you read an animal book 70% of the time the animal dies and I just really don't want the animal to die. But we're going to try it. And we're going to see. My mom gave me this book to give to my kids. So I'm hoping she picked a book that doesn't have a depressing ending with a dead dog. I won't tell you if it does. But I'm just hoping that it isn't a tragic ending. That it's a, like, uplifting story. Alright, next one is... Um... Yeah, sorry iPad malfunctions. I know this is going to be horrible to watch. I apologize. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. So number four is read a book with green on the cover. And the book I chose was Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. So this is obviously a classic and I haven't read this book by John Steinbeck. It's really short. It's more of a novella. I think it's only like 100 pages long. So and then there's green in the in the sky is like green and blue. So that's the next one. And then number five is read a book while wearing a hat the whole time. So the only time I wear hats really is when I go on walks and it's sunny. And so this and this is the hat I wear to kind of block the sun. And since I don't really want to wear the hat inside, I'm going to read an audiobook because I often will read an audiobook while taking a walk in the summer. And I usually do that like right after the kids go to bed so that there's still like sunlight out. So I will wear this hat on my walk and listen to an audiobook. And I picked out the audiobook. I don't own it, obviously, since it's an audiobook. It'll be on Scribd. And I chose Poet X. And I can't remember now who the author is. I apologize. I'll put it down in the description. Um, and it is a, I think, three and a half hour audiobook. So that would be easy to do during my walks throughout the week. I'll be able to cover that. And it is narrated by the author. And I listen to just a short snippet just because I have to listen ahead of time just a little bit to see if I like the voice. And I really liked her voice. And I like that she's narrating it because I think it's a little bit about slam poetry or something like that. Um, so it's kind of nice to hear how she reads her own poetry. And I was going to actually get a physical copy from the library to show you because sometimes I like to go back and forth between the audiobook and the real book. But part of our crazy day today was we did go to the library and I got all this stuff that I was going to take and check out. And then my toddler had a huge meltdown and I had to carry my three year old out kicking and screaming while having my, w with my baby. <laughs> so needless to say, we did not check out any books. All of the books we were going to check out and all of the things are just sitting somewhere in the library. I feel so bad for the librarians, but you know what? 
you gotta do what you gotta do when she's screaming and kicking and flailing. Like, if you're a parent of a toddler, you've been there before, <laughs> you just gotta get out if you're in the library. Like, we don't, we don't have time for tantrums in the library. So, I don't have a physical copy to show you. So, I will on my wrap up because I'll get it because sometimes I go back and forth. But it's Poet X, young adult book. Um, the next one is six, read a book with a beautiful spine. And I picked Peter Pan um, by J.M. Barry, which is obviously a children's classic, so it's not a huge book. And look at that pretty spine. It's sparkly. It's got a little Peter Pan on it. And it looks so nice on my child's shelf with a bunch of other similar edition classics. So I've never actually read Peter Pan, so I figured I would read it and see what, what the actual story is like instead of the adaptations. And then last is read seven books. And like I said, I want to try to do this. I picked short enough books that I'm hoping to read about a book a day. Sometimes I read more than one book at the same time. Um, I want to keep you guys updated throughout the week. So I probably will try to post daily little videos that are kind of vlog-like or something just to kind of update you whether I'm actually reading all these books. And I promise not to be as tired and as out of it as I am right now. I will do my best. So for my seventh book, I have two that I'm choosing between and I'm just going to wait until we're in the moment because I am a mood reader. So I want to give myself a couple options. So these are ones possible as my seventh book. And so I have two. One is um, Illusions by Richard Bach. This is another one of my reading, reading old favorites. I had read this back in college and really loved it. It was written in like the 70s and it's kind of a philosophical kind of book but it's really easy to read and then the other one is the red notebook by Antoine Lorraine I don't know I don't know how to say French it's a French author so I don't know how to pronounce his name I apologize and this is a story about a man who finds an abandoned handbag in Paris and so he wants to return it to the owner and he's trying to fi figure out who the owner is based on there's a red notebook inside that um, it has no contact information inside the handbag, but it has a red notebook. I think he is trying to explore that to like figure out who owns the bag. And it just seemed like a nice little story. So those are my two options for my seventh book. Um, it is also entirely possible that I might substitute a, one of the other books in there because that's how I roll. I just kind of live day by day. Um, <laughs> so that is my book two but on TBR. This sh video should not be this long. I apologize and hopefully I will not be this bad in the future. I will get some rest after vacation and be more on my game next time. So if you guys are participating, let me know down in the comments and I'll check out your videos or if you're not a booktuber, just let me know like what you are thinking of reading and I would love to like have a little conversation about what we're reading because that's part of the this whole readathon is to um, interact with the community. So thanks and I will see you later. Bye.